QSP, QSP making some knives this year, ain't they? And this is the Lark. So this is a little, let me see what we got. 14C, liner lock, and is it dropping? When it gets over that D10 ball, there you go. Now, the best way to get it to drop is to disengage the lock bar. You know, okay, now, okay. So that was tricky. That was tricky. Um, yeah, it's like, did I get that? No, but I will be messing with this pivot later. Uh, let's see if I can make it crazy guillotine insane. Um, deep carry pocket clip. Right or left hand, so they didn't forget the lefties on this one. And you got some standoffs. They're nice. Nice and heavy duty. Uh, lanyard hole. Top flipper. Front flipper. You want to front flip it? There she be, right there. How about that? And it's not, it's not that big. It's not that heavy. Easy carry. Very inexpensive. 57 bucks. Re or, well, not retail. MAP, minimum advertised price. But on top of that, on top of that 57 bucks, right, for it. I mean, and here's the stats. You can use LTK discount code on white mountain knives and get 10% off. So it's $5.70 off. Now you're talking about the low 50s for 14 CG10 liner lock, front top flipper, this and that. 740 and 3.15, but I don't know. I think it's bigger than that. It's weird. Okay, let's look at, you got other colors you can get, okay? What's this? Shredded carbon fiber overlay. Oh, oh, you got to pay an extra five or six bucks for that. That might be all day worth it. You know what? Um, And then you can get green, blue shredded overlay. Red shredded over. Is that red shredded overlay? They just said carbon fiber overlay. Okay, go ahead. But hey, so you can make it all fancy, fancy, and it's still cheaper than chips. That ought to embarrass you. Oh my God. Did you pay hundreds for it? No, I didn't. And here you go. Kick. So top or front. So if you don't like front flippers, do this. You like front flippers? Do this. You want to just do fidget crazy? Do both, right? And I don't know. We're going to try the tough thing about this. Can it cut? What? What was that? <laughs> yeah, that's, ooh, baby. Yeah, that's slicey. That is definitely, that's definitely sharp. Okay, that's slicey. Comes in this box. Come on, open up. I'm going to get in there anyhow. Have a knife day. Then there you got the wolf. The wolf, bad boy. And then you got, you know, under here, of course, it's fitted type thing. But here is the card that tells you everything you've ever needed to know in life. Okay, right there. It's all there. Very few words. So, hmm. 7.4 overall, 3.15. Come on, man. Let me see if it really is. I don't think this looks longer than 3.15, but maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Could be. Oh, man. They're going to get me, aren't they? Because I can't call them a liar, can I? No, nope. that's, that's, there you go. 81, 2, three millimeter mm, close to seven and a half but no it's 7.4 okay 18.7 centrometers so um where's that where's my calculator my calculator uh 11.6 millimeters and let's go to inches 0.46 okay okay that's that's pretty reasonable. That's pretty easy in the pocket. 0 0.11, three millimeter, right? Close. Yeah, come on, come on, fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. As good as three millimeter blade stock. So, but that's slicey, isn't it? 
you know, that's really just kind of a sensible looking knife. Really, uh, less is more kind of thing. Blade disappears in the handle. Very inexpensive. Obviously, the ergos are, you know, not to worry about right there. Got a little breakaway here. I guess for sharpening, stropping, uh, maybe you could crawl up front a little bit. Not like you really need to in a knife that's no bigger than this. And you can just put your thumb up here and go at it, right? Or like that, however you want. Reverse grip, no problem. And we're pretty centered up. Now, on this knife, which is a liner lock. Oh, by the way, did we look at the lockup? That's 35% at least, right? And these little jumping, and it, they hang down, so they're easy to disengage. Bink, bink, whatever. Um, but you look at these liners, and they're nested, right, in these. So that's going to keep it pretty lightweight. And where is my... Mr. Lightweight, get over here, Lightweight. And let's see what we got going. 3.23 ounces. Okay. Like the Kestrel? Hold on. There's the Kestrel from QSB. Mm, 3.56. Okay, so there's your ounces. And let's go unit 91.5. Okay. Let's kick you out of here and shut you off. There's the Kestrel. So this is definitely bigger than the Kestrel. Kind of slicier too, isn't it? Um, at least, I mean, this, this, this does a good job cutting, but you know, look at that. Look at that grind on there. I mean, that's just going to go through so nicely, right? Because it's, more like a grind like this, right? I mean, it's just a nice, gradual, flat grind all the way up. So, and, oh, you want to compare size? Yeah, it's still way low, way, way smaller than the uh, PM2, but you got that. And then, of course, one of my favorites for the whole year of QSP, the Hornbill, right? Now, where's the hornbill comparing size? Ooh, the hornbill, I'd say, has got it edged a bit, doesn't it? So, yeah, I like I like the hornbill. Yeah, that, that's, a nice, that's a nice blade shape, but it's just got a lot of styling cues to it that really uh, draw me in. But these two dogs are both like 57, 58 bucks. So this Kestrel's interesting especially with a milled titanium pocket clip might want to check that out too the lark yeah easy to hold on to oh uh, yeah feels good too so lightweight easy carry left or right hand and i don't think they gave you that now nah, they didn't give you that option on the kestrel right and did they give you that option? No, they didn't give you the option on the hornbill either. So at least they are on the lark. So I don't know what this reminds me of, but I guess maybe it's just so many other knives that are like this. Just this big, long rectangle that, like that, it's, it's, uh, it's got to be so nice and easy to use, carry, slender, and relatively lightweight. But let's take it apart, take a look. I think we're going to be finding ceramic bearings, etc. on it. So let me get old Blue over here. Hey, Blue, lay it down, buddy. Let's get these, the 6 and the 8, and let's start with the 8, right? Don't be late. And now yeah, that's nice that QSP doesn't lock their stuff down too hard. Uh, it makes it easier to deal with. Oh, baby, there's just nothing on this, is there? Um, yeah, it can't go from the front. You got logo up there. And I think the other one, the Kestrel, was a captured pivot. So I'm thinking that's probably how we're going here. And then you got these tapered screws. So 
they flat flat right down there on the scales so let's see if i can get this one out they come out pretty easy and then there's the pocket clip so this is really coming apart pretty simply and here's your lock bar side and of course they got it milled in there so this little liner will be nested in there but we have an internal screw oh okay because i was going that was weird um so the pocket clip screw that went out here and is it longer than the other yeah it is okay so we're figuring it out little by little you got one that's longer than the other and that's because it goes into that standoff and then they got this other one hidden in here. And so did they give us, oh, they gave us a little area here for it to go into. Okay. So number six, I'm sure, right? Yeah, it is. So we have an internal screw. That's good to know. And it's a little stubby dog. So uh, let's roll this around and see if we can just pop this liner off okay looks good uh ceramic decant ball mm, ceramic bearings front and back and come on i know you're gonna come off at some point in time okay we got you okay come on okay come on just pop that right off so we got ceramic bearings right there uh here's this so let's see what are we trying to do here now we got a squared off uh pivot thing here see that we got some grungy on here uh that just wipes off actually but uh okay and there's where it's squared off on that liner as it goes through. So, uh, definitely skeletonized. That's your disassembly right there. Back with the Lark. And we just had to get this on a Lark. Oh, um, yeah. Front flip, top flip. Mm, I'd say the blade shape is just perfect i mean you know you can do so much you can pierce you can slice but it's just a nice slicey blade and really take a look at the it's a nice satin finish on it actually i mean so much for a beater right i mean this is very inexpensive but it's a front flip top flip fidgety lightweight not too big not too small easy to carry type of knife QSP, can you ask for more? We always do, don't we? We're never happy. I'll let you go. Links are below. And join my Patreon group if you'd like to. Stay sharp.